Flicking a frisbee around on the beach is a time-honoured Kiwi tradition. And for a group of New Zealanders, this summer pastime has taken them all the way to world champion silver medalists in disc golf. The Flying Kiwis are about to take flight for the World Disc Golf Team Championships in England, where they aim to go one better than last year's runner-up performance in Vancouver. It's a noteworthy effort considering disc golf is played in over 62 countries and there are about 36,000 members of the Professional Disc Golf Association. Yeah, you heard it right. There is a professional disc golf tour. So what exactly is disc golf? Ask a simple question, get a simple answer. It's golf, except for instead of hitting a ball, we're throwing discs. Um, the reason I say that is there's 18 holes, 18 tees, 18 baskets, and we count our strokes. So we drive off the tee, and we approach from, from where our disc landed, and we complete the hole by passing. If you can play all the same types of uh, formats, match play, stroke play, handicap, and uh, of course you need a disc golf course as opposed to a ball golf course. The New Zealand disc golfers spun their way to silver at last year's first ever World Team Champs, topping the might of Japan, Brazil and Australia along the way. So that is a very handsome medal you have around your neck. Tell me what it felt like to have silver uh, in last year's championship. It was great, it was amazing. It was sort of very surprising. It's really cool, we had a lot of fun out there. Yeah. What was the tournament like to be a part of? It was really cool because there's, you know, there's players you hear of and you, you know, you see on the internet and stuff like that and then you see them actually playing and you play with them. Um, so that was a nice experience. We came through, we qualified fourth and made it into the, into the semi-finals. Then we were up against Canada who had won the pool play and uh, we knocked them out on a playoff on the, you know, like we were dead tied and, and it was on comeback. So we're tied on matches. We're tied in holes won and lost. And so it came down to a final um, throwdown. And I went up against Canada's number one and got a birdie on the, on the throwdown hole and, and we won it and we went through. And we didn't do so well against America, but uh, it's all right, we got the silver, so that was awesome. Well, you say you gotta lose a championship to win a championship. Simon Feezy was New Zealand's number one ranked disc golfer for 12 years, but has been dethroned by Jackson Sullivan, who will lead the Flying Kiwis at this month's World Champs after a stellar season on the local tour. We've got about 17 events this year, and you play as much as you can, um, and your, your, top, your top five performances are recorded throughout that season. So uh, on our tour, you can take 50 points for a win, 60 points for a major. So I was currently sitting at number one, so I got picked to represent the country, and my sister and I done it last year, and keen to do it again. There's always your own personal practice you've got to keep doing, like your putting, like just like normal golf, putting's key. So you've got to keep the practice and the routine up as much as you can. If you get the bug, you, you really get the bug. Jacko is regarded as New Zealand's best putter. The Sir Bob Charles of disc golf, but tats. So who better to give me a lesson in the finer points of putting? So I'm having my first putting lesson. Jacko's got his work cut out from because it turns out I wasn't that good throwing a frisbee either. So um, how am I going to go today? Will that come in handy? <laughs> um, generally, the, the mechanics of throwing a frisbee will help, um, but it's a little bit different when you come to putting because you want to hit a, you want to pick your line and, and hit that line. So your first stance is the straddle, and this is called a straddle putt. So it's where you're sort of shoulder length apart. So if you feel more comfortable coming down like this putting, then that's what you're going to do, or there's more so in line sort of stance where you, the ball of your left foot's in line with your, the heel of your right foot if you're right-handed, swinging up and through, pushing your weight through off your back foot and projecting it into the disc. OK, and what about a grip on the, on the disc? So the grip, there's, there's a few. Um, it's pretty, it can be pretty personal as to what you'd prefer and what feels comfortable, but there is a fan grip, and that's when your fingers are fanned out more so. Yep, like that. And you can feel you can feel the push when you push up to to pop your disc up. Some people prefer to spin putt, where they'll just spin straight out like that. And then there's also a push putt where people will come from up here and they'll plop it up more so, which is better if you miss, because you're not gonna go as far past if you miss, you know? Some people say it's like shaking hands with the basket. This one. Let's try the same again, but just try and keep it flatter. Flat, like that. Yep and just push, push through as if you're... And I'm you, shaking hands. You can bring it down or whatever feels more comfy to you to... And then just... There we go. I'm out. I should stop right now. <laughs> <laughs> New Zealand will take a six-strong squad to Colchester for the World Team Champs, including season's debutante, Nigel Hailstone. Oh, beautiful. 
So not only are you a member of the Flying Kiwis, but you're also the president of the New Zealand Disc Golf Association. How big is this sport actually in New Zealand? It's a growing sport. There's probably a couple of hundred people who regularly play our tour, but we really don't know the numbers who play casually. It's growing fast. We're having new courses arrive all the time, and those attract new players. We need courses, and when we get them in, people spring out of the woodwork, and we're seeing great membership of the local courses yes. and more and more people playing the game. In 2015, disc golf was officially recognised by the International Olympic Federation and could soon feature at the Games as a demonstration sport. America is the global disc golf powerhouse, but there are countries in Europe where disc golfers are national heroes. I heard places like Finland in particular love disc golf and it's a very common sport. It's a game when it takes hold, it really does take hold. That's a country which has got over 400 courses. And uh, give you an idea, you can go to a service station in the middle of nowhere and you can find disc golf uh, paraphernalia to be bought at the service station. It's just that common over there now. They have it on television. You know, I've heard crazy stories like a million live viewers watching their, their national championships and stuff and there's only five million people. A good disc golf course will challenge you much like a traditional course with tight tree-lined holes to test your technical game, long wide open holes where you can open your shoulders to bomb a drive, as well as holes that play over gullies, water and feature plenty of out of bounds. It's able to be done on a whole lot of landscapes which are just stunningly beautiful. We have some of the most beautiful golf courses in the world and I know regular golf has that, but we play on the sides of volcanoes. I mean, this is just a really great game for getting into the outdoors. And while the Flying Kiwis head to the World Team Champs determined to improve upon last year's silver finish, regardless of the result, the pull of disc golf is no different to the addiction you get while playing traditional golf. What is it that you love most about disc golf? I love getting outdoors. Um, I love, uh, the Japanese have a saying for it, I think it's called Satori, when there's is oneness and you get that feeling when you throw the perfect shot. Just the flight of a disc, throwing it to the place you want it to go is a feeling that is it's just pretty special, you know. You keep coming back for that perfect shot, you know. Always looking for that perfect shot and watching go. a disc fly is just an amazing thing, especially when it goes where you want it to go. <laughs> I've never had an ace in ball golf. I've seen aces, you know, but I've had a lot of aces in disc golf. And uh, when you're actually visualising your shot and you play this and, it, and it's graceful and it glides and it goes in the basket, it's just this, you know, it's just a fantastic feeling. It brings you back. It's, it's sport. Catch Holland Golf World, Thursdays and Saturdays.